Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw the crown in Adobe Illustrator and if you're interested then keep watching and guys before we start to draw the crown I want to invite you to my graphic design course commercial portfolio step up if you're interested to create your own commercial portfolio and understand how to create your own designs and understand how to earn money when you have the portfolio then my course is for you if you're interested then go to the my course website the link will be below this tutorial or go to this video and now let's start to draw the crown and guys before we are going to start our tutorial i want to show you where you can use this illustration for example you can use this illustration for application for casino and if you will have an order to create illustration in uh, the cartoon style for example crown you can do it after you watch my tutorial okay if you're interested then keep watching this is size of my workspace and these are colors which i'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design you can do it on my patreon page the link will be below this tutorial and now let's start to draw the crown. Okay guys, hope your workspace is ready and colors already in the swatches panel. Let's take for now uh, that orange color and rectangle tool and create rectangle with this size. Okay. move down effect bob arc and horizontal minus 18 okay object expand appearance now let's take a uh, rounded rectangle tool and create the rounded rectangle with these options and these radius move down go to effect warp arc and here horizontal and minus 18 percent okay and uh, take this color to see the element object expand appearance select both elements and align them and now let's take that color and pen tool and let's draw the main element of the crown it's very easy just put the point in the place you want to put it it's okay if you will have some mistakes you always can fix uh, the mistake later you can take direct section tool and move the point as you like here it can be not pretty like this and let's take direct section tool and if you want you can move uh, the corners like this and bring that shape to front okay now let's take direct section tool select the crown and the crown hold and hold and drag to round the corners 
like that. I think it's pretty good. Now let's uh, select again the crown. Let's make it a little bigger. Okay. Uh, now let's take crown and curvature tool. Add here the point and move it. The same here, move it up a little. To round the side, the same here and here. Okay. And now select the crown and take smooth tool to smooth the sides. Okay. Now let's take direct selection tool and let's move that point and this one a little to the right and here a little to the left. Okay. Now let's add the gradient to the crown. Let's select that shape, liner gradient, the pink color here, the yellow here and the light yellow in that place. Now let's add the same gradient here. Just select the shape and take this gradient and the same take this gradient. Okay. Now let's uh, move a little the gradient like this on every shape. Okay. And now let's copy and paste that shape twice. Move a little up one of the copy. Now you can uh, a little rotate it. Select both copies and Pathfinder minus front. Take this color opacity color burn and here um, 20 percent. I think 20 is good. Select that corner, hold and drag to round the corner. Okay, let's move on. Uh, now let's take white color and pen tool. And let's draw here the shape like this. Okay. Now select these two shapes. Shape Builder tool, hold odd and delete unwanted part. And this opacity, soft light. Okay. And now bring that shape to front. Now uh, we need again um, select that shape and take curvature tool, add here one point and move the side to round it. Okay, and now let's take again white color and pen tool. Here we need normal opacity. And let's draw highlight here with help of pen tool and white color. And the next one here. Guys, you can draw your own highlights, your own shadows, uh, your own uh, elements. Uh, it's my vision of this design. And you can add your own details. Okay, uh, now let's 
move on. Let's make take this color, sorry, and pen tool. And draw here the shape like this. It will be the shadow. Bring that shape and bring to front. And opacity color burn. Let's take make 20%. But I think better will be 50% for those shadows. Let's make it 50. Okay, now it's better. Uh, now let's make it thinner or shorter as you like. Take this color and pen tool and let's draw here one more shape. It will be one shadow here. Now select both shapes, shape builder tool, hold alt and delete unwanted part, select that shape and curvature tool, add the point, move the curvature like this, uh, the point like this, uh, opacity, multiply and 20%. Okay. Now let's take white color and pen tool and let's add some highlights here. And one more here. Courage to and draw here one more highlight. Let it be unperfect, it will be more interesting. And you can take here soft light. Okay, let's take that color and pen tool and create one more shadow here. Select both shapes, shape builder tool and delete unwanted part and bring these parts to send to back. Okay. And here we need opacity color burn and transparency 50%. Okay, now let's take a white color with normal opacity and pen tool and let's draw the white highlight here. Guys, the main in this design is uh, opacity, transparency and uh, you need to play with um, uh, opacity and transparency and your design will be really in cartoon style it will be uh, looks uh, it will be look very interesting very cartoon uh, very modern so don't uh, be scary to play with opacity and transparency in this kind of design in this kind of style and let's add here the shadow with red color and pen tool.
see. Let's smooth here the sides, change stroke to fill. And here we need to change opacity to color burn. And here 50%. Now uh, let's select these two shapes and delete unwanted parts with Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and delete the part here. And here we need. Uh, let's close closer and delete this part. Okay, let's draw here the highlight. Okay, let's move that point a little up and let's move uh, this point here. Okay, and here I want to round the corner, select the corner and round it with the help of direct section tool. Okay, now let's take orange color and pen tool and draw the shadow here. You need here the same, like here, multiply and uh, transparency uh, 20%. Let's take direct selection tool and round the corner here. Okay, let's select that shape and transform reflect vertical copy and move the shape. Here you can draw the new shape. I just made the copy. Okay. Let's bring these shapes to front. Okay. And now we need to take white color to draw one more highlight. On the crown. Let's select these two shapes, uh, two corners and round them. Let's make the shape a little wider and longer. And here we need um, opacity soft light. Let's add some more highlights. Let's take uh, this curvature tool and draw some highlights here with white color. Opacity will be normal. You can smooth if you like. Okay, and now let's take ellipse tool and create one more highlight here. Like that. Okay, it's ready. And now select that highlight, make the copy and bring it here. Rotate a little. Okay. Now let's create the diamond. Let's take this color and ellipse tool, create here the ellipse like this.
copy and paste it twice, one of the copy down, select both copies, Pathfinder minus front, take this color. And uh, the same two copies, one of the copy like this, one of the copy up, select both copies, Pathfinder minus front, take this color. Okay, now let's take red color and ellipse tool. Create here the ellipse like that. Now let's take white color and pen tool, pen tool. Draw here their shape. It's very easy. Round the corners. A little squeeze it okay it's like the square and here transparency 50% let's take again white color and pen tool and draw here new shape Select both shapes and delete unwanted part here. Okay, and let's round the corner here with direct section tool and transparency 75%. Now let's take dark red color and pen tool and draw. one more shape here and the little wanted part and round the corner here and transfer transparency 50 percent and with the same color and pen tool let's draw one more shape here Okay, let's make it a little longer. Now, again, delete unwanted part. And you can round the corner. And with white color and pen, and pen tool, let's draw here some elements.
Okay, it's ready. Let's smooth them a little. And one more highlight here. Like that. Okay, now select the diamond, group it and make two copies, the first and make it smaller, put it here, now hold out and make the second and bring it here. Okay, you can align. If you like, you can make that a little bigger, like this. And now let's take gray color and uh, background, uh, sorry, rectangle tool and let's create background and send it to back, okay. Uh, now you can stay like this or you can take liner gradient and delete this color. Here we need gray color and pink. Let's move here. Okay. Let's take gradient tool and make the gradient like this. Select the crown. Make it a little bigger. move here now uh, we need to uh, copy and paste uh, the crown to create the shadow behind uh, their crown we need to select the crown copy and paste it for finder unite send the crown and background to back now let's take uh, this color opacity multiply and effect blur gaussian blur and let it be 33 or 32 and transparency 35 percent okay and i think let's take the color a little darker let it be um this one okay now uh, select the crown let's rotate a little the shadow and now let's uh, select the crown without shadow and background group it copy and paste it transparency 10 percent and make it bigger rotate and send to back the crown and background okay guys it's ready now let's add some um, design elements we need to take um, light yellow color and ellipse tool and create some uh, small ellipses around the crown Okay, let's add one more here. If you like, you can change transpar transparency for some of them, 
uh, for example, let it be 50% and let's take pink color and add some pink ellipses. And one ellipse with radial gradient, here black color, here red color, opacity screen, make it thinner and bring it here, like that, ok. And let's select the background. To hide the elements beyond the artboard, copy and paste the background, bring it to front, select the whole design and make clipping mask. That's all guys, our design is ready. Well guys, that's all for today, hope you like my tutorial, if yes, give me a like and subscribe. And I'm waiting for you in my new videos on YouTube and of course on my course Commercial Portfolio Step Up. If you want to make step up with me, then come and learn. And that's all for today. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.